Today we're going to discuss iForm. iForm is a new tool within Unigraphics 7.5. Select iForm. What iForm does is it allows you to manipulate the face off of a solid or surface using the ISO curves. Now you'll notice here, I'm going to select this face. This face is off of an extrude that has an edge blend. The face is also drafted. Once I select that face, I'll get my ISO curves off of the base face. Here you'll see the direction is in U. I can switch this to ISO V and my ISO curves will show up perpendicular to the U. How many do I want across the surface? Here I have my ISO control. Basically, how do I want to move my ISO control points? Now, I'll come out, I'll grab my ISO control point, leave it at default, and I'll just start pulling on that surface. Now you'll notice that the surface begins to deform. As it deforms, the fillets update along with it. We are physically changing the topology of that face. As the face gets edited, the adjacent geometry updates along with it. I have various methods in which to control the direction I wish to move my ISO curves. I'll select on the direction widget. You'll notice I have normal, view, vector, plane, WCS. I'll specify WCS. On my WCS I want to travel in the Y direction so I can come here and select on Y. And then now when I move my control points I'll move directly in the Y direction. So now you'll notice that as I pull this in I'm directly modifying the face off of the solid. At a certain point where the topology is unable to update, what this visualization will do is it will show you this surface indicating that I am unable to update to that point. You'll notice I have an alert unable to replace face. All I need to do is come back and pull that ISO curve into a region where the face will update and it'll automatically update. There are several additional options within that we'll discuss at a later date such as shape control and boundary constraints.